In this video, I want to talk about your relationship with your creator. For me personally, my personal, and I'm talking to my younger self, these are 10 relationship tips that I want you to be mindful of. And following these tips will change your life. Now, your creator brought you into this world with a manual called the Bible. It would be a sad thing to meet your creator and don't even recognize your creator. So, regardless of what anybody says, I want you to study the word, the Bible, for yourself. Get to know the creator for yourself. Not what some pastor, some priest, some rabbi preaches. I want you to know it for yourself. When you sit down with an individual, spiritual individual, they must be sharing or confirming what you already know in your spirit. Very important. I don't want you, my younger self, to be religious. That is a mechanism that was put in place to control you. I want you to be spiritual spiritually enlightened and no i'm not talking about the tower of babel what actually means confusion or stairway to heaven i'm talking about knowing the written word for yourself and having a relationship with that love letter called the bible as you learn that that will help you to understand your vision. I don't want to get all spiritual here, or, or, but I'm going to quote some scriptures. Habakkuk 2.2, 2, it says, write the vision and make it plain. Whatever is on your heart, write it down. Understand that when you bring a woman into your life, if she doesn't understand your vision, she can't run with you. And in Trust me, another guy will show up with a vision and she will follow him. Know your vision. The best way to understand that vision is to have a relationship with your creator. You're going to have your preferences. And you'll always compromise your preference. You go to the ice cream store, you prefer rum and raisin. Yes, I know that you like rum and raisin because that's what I like. And you're my younger me. They don't have it. So what do you do? You choose vanilla. You choose strawberry. That's compromising your preference. Now, there's one thing that you should never compromise, and that's your principles. Your values will evolve. Your principles are hard-coded. Now, there are times where you may have to challenge your principles. For example, you may have learned a principle growing up. And you're beginning to see that it has some conflicts with what you're reading in the Bible. You challenge those principles against the Bible. And at that point, you change. You adopt. You adapt new principles that's are, that are in line with the written word. And I know that you're going to come across there's hundreds of different Bibles out there, there's only one spirit of truth. Despite what they tell you, that truth is changeable, it's based on the person saying it. No, there's only one truth, bro. One. And no matter how you can decode it, there's only one truth, there's only one spirit. So what's written in the Bible Read the Bible, understand the spirit, and don't get confused with the times. It was written in a time and speaking to a particular people. And I want you to understand that when you read. Just don't read it and, attri and, and attempt to put things in the context of today's time. I'll give an example. And I probably go over two minutes, but this is important. Relationship with your creator. In the Bible, they talk about women who should cover themselves 
and this was Paul speaking. Context. Today, society, women like to be open and dress openly. Back in those days, it was a law for the women who are unmarried and not a widow, they must dress, they must dress themselves in a way that they're on display, half naked. This was the Roman law. What Paul said was, when you come to church, it's okay to put on clothes. You don't have to look half naked. Context, timing. So when he said you must cover yourself, he's saying that you don't have to listen to the Roman law to say that you must dress like a porn star. When you read, I want you to understand the context. Also, let me give you a, another example in reference to the relationship with your creator. When you study and know for yourself, you develop confidence. This is when you can know that a bill is to be paid. The money isn't there yet. But you know that your relationship with your God is solid. I'll end with this story. I have a friend who is a pilot. And he had a job opportunity to move from the airline where he was there for 19 years. So he had seniority. He had a lot of benefits. He prayed for one year. And he believed that he had the answer from God, that relationship. When he left, the company that he went to work for went bankrupt. For five months, he had no income. Now, let me give you some context to this story. He was the only Christian in his family. Everyone else was not Christian. So they were all looking at him. They were all mocking him. In fact, he himself started to wonder, why did I leave this secure position to go work for a bankrupt company? Fast forward, now he's back on his feet. His wife is happy and kids are in their back. And he had to move into his parents' house. I asked him this question. If you had to make the decision, would you make the same decision? He said, I wouldn't. And I said, that's the point. God wants you to have a relationship with him. Trust him. Not your circumstances. That will change. I don't want to go into too many analogies. My name is Samuel Robinson. And I want you to have this takeaway. Know you the creator for yourself. Like and subscribe. If you haven't seen the other videos, go back and watch those. And share this information. Give me feedback. Let me know. This video is supposed to be less than two minutes. I'm almost certain that I went over. Sorry.